Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world and welcome to this class where I'm going to be sharing with you how to create this little adhesive caddy that can sit on your uh, workbench and keep all your adhesives to, together. So here's one, another one that I've got. This one is stuffed full of goodies. So we've got our liquid adhesive glue dots and here back in this pocket here, there's our stamping seal, tear and tape. And then I've got uh, the foam adhesive sheets and then I've got um, dimensionals, both the regular as well as the minis. So you can see that this will hold an awful lot and keep everything nice and close while you are at your workbench. So this is the uh, one that's empty. You can see that it's basically constructed of three separate boxes and I'm going to share that with you right now. This one I'm going to start with, I'm do using Mango Melody. This one was uh, Melon Mambo and this one was Crushed Curry. And all the dimensions and scoring is in the accompanying notes and supply list. So this piece here, let me try and remember what this piece is so you know what I'm working with. So this is nine by seven and three quarters. And you're going to score it um, on the short side. Now, when I talk about on the short side, that means the side that is the shortest length. So this is seven and three quarters. And so this one, you're gonna score an inch and a half from both sides. And then in the middle, you're going to score on the long side, these middle score lines. And this one is at, depending which way you're looking at it, this is at four and a half and this is at six. Then with your paper snips, you're going to cut the, uh, the line up here. So this is the score line. This is going to be our tab for folding inside. You're going to cut this um, on the score line up to this one inch line here. And then you're just going to pop in some little wedges. The reason we do that is that it just takes the excess card out of the out of the way so that when you start to assemble it you're not dealing with lots of of, of bulk. So there's our four little wedges taken out. Then with the bone folder we're going to put in our fold lines and you want to put these in and burnish them really firmly. Um, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I say that a good crease is the secret to a successful box. And since this particular little adhesive caddy is all box, then your creases are really important. So there we've got those pieces there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to trim this piece down to a slope. So the way we do that is to basically um, as sort of assemble the box. So this piece goes like this, like that. So we're going to make sure that all the edges are lined up and then with a pencil, I'm just going to put the tiniest pencil mark here, just where that inside piece, this piece here, meets this side. And we're going to repeat on the other side, like this. So again, I'm just going to make sure that my all my edges are all lined up and then put my mark just there. You see, I popped it just where this piece here meets the side. Then with my ruler, I'm going to line up 
that one and a half inch score line that's there with the mark that I made. So there you can see there's the one and a half inch score line, and there's my mark. And you do that on both sides. Now looking at this mark, I'm not happy with that one. I think it goes down too far. So that's why we use pencil, because then we can just get an eraser to it and put it right. So again, I'm just lining up my cut edge here. Oh yes, it was out. Ooh, good job I tried that again. And I'm just gonna lay it down this time. Not sure if you can see, um, but there's the mark. I think I'm going to double check this one as well. Mm, that one looks good. All right. So again, I'm lining up that one and a half with my mark where it hits the car, the cut edge of my card. Hopefully, I haven't got my head in the in the way. If I have, I apologise. So there's my my marks and then with my paper snips I'm just going to trim off those pieces there and then just get my um, get my eraser in there to tidy everything up So there's all our cutting. Now we're gonna go and do our assembly. So you're gonna flip it over. So you want it on the sides where, it which will basically be your outside when you come to assemble the box. And we're gonna put double-sided tape on the tab. This is just uh, the tear and tape. And so each tab, is going to have some tape this just keeps it from flapping up and down while you're when it's assembled and then we're going to put two pieces of tape on here now i don't want to take it up to the very edge just in case i've got a little gap and it will be exposed and start sticking to everything and that will mean more in a few moments when I assemble my box and so again I've got this down a little bit I never take my adhesive straight to the cut edge anyway but um, I know some people like to do that so there's my tape so I've got on the tab and two pieces on the, on the smaller side of the box. Now I'm just gonna use my bone folder to just firmly press this down and that will make it a lot easier to take the backing off when I get to it. Now to assemble the box here, this piece is going to stick inside this piece. All right, that's our first part gonna pop that piece off and then this piece is going to go there and I'm lining up my cut edge with my fold here and then just press it firmly and then I like to get my bone folder in there and really give it a good hard press and we're going to go to the other side and take this piece off and then swip uh, fly this round like that and just stick the two pieces together and again get the bone folder out to really firm that down so the next piece is we're going to swing this round here and we're going to stick it to the outside of the box so again we're going to take the backing off now I only do one piece at a time one um, side at a time when I take all my backing off and that way I am not wrangling with lots of out of control adhesive which 
sometimes you can find yourself doing. All right, and then this last piece. So this piece is the back box of the caddy and this is the bit that sort of holds the tape and the dimensionals and everything. So there we have our cute little box. Now the other two boxes, I made those ahead of time. They're made exactly the same way as the a large box it's just uh, you'll be able to follow the instructions along um, on on the written um, instructions um, and the dimensions for the pieces of card and the scoring will be on that so basically this is going to fit together like this so the first thing we're going to do is to get the double-sided tape again and we're going to um, attach these two pieces together. So I'm just going to pop some double-sided tape on this part of one on one side. And to be honest with you, it doesn't matter whether you have the little box on the right or the left. If you see here on my two samples, this one has got the little box on, on, on the right hand side and this has the little box on the left hand side. <laughs> it was just the way <coughs> that I put the adhesive on this little box. But it works just as well, either way. So then we've got our tape. And again, I'm gonna just push my fingers inside so that I can burnish my tape um, here. then take the backing off. Now I use my pick your tool to do this. I don't know if you've ever seen one or if you've got one, but I find it really, really, really useful when I'm doing this particular job. Now I'm gonna make sure that these are sitting on my, my work table, and then I'm just gonna bring them side by side and push them firmly together like that and really pinch 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 them really firmly together um, because it's going to be a bit difficult you're not actually going to be able to get your um, bone folder in there comfortably so as I say I just pinched it really closely together like that next we're going to stick this piece to our larger box so Again, we're going to do double-sided tape and I'm going to put three strips across there, top, bottom and middle. And the reason I do that is to make sure it's well stuck because if, well, when we're using it on a, on a uh, our work table, um, it's hopefully going to get a lot of use and so you need it to be nicely strongly bound together and then just as I said before smooth out your tape and this time we're going to take all three pieces off the back And again, we're going to stand them up on the workbench and I'm going to gently line them up from the side and then push them gently together. And again, in there with the pinching, just to make sure that they're all nice and firmly stuck. So there's our basic box. So now we're going to decorate it and part of the decoration is also to give it a little bit more um, strength and stability. So I am going to be using uh, the very pretty, uh, perfectly penciled 
uh, designer series paper. Now these are all black and white designs and so um, you can put them with any colour that you want to for your cardstock. The other nice thing about this paper is, is that the patterns are random and so you don't have to worry about matching up or cutting it so that um, you've got all your uh, uh, pattern going all in the same direction and that'll make a little bit more sense in a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is to stick this panel uh, on the front and all I've it's some um, basic black with a piece of the pen uh, uh, the uh, paper on it and I'm just going to use some liquid adhesive for that and that will allow me to just sort of shimmy it around a little bit and make sure it's in the right position oh and it moved so okay there now we're going to decorate the sides now when i did my original my very first one i just put some paper like this and it's then when I realized that I really needed to put a whole panel on here so that it would again strengthen the box. And that's when I worked out to do the side pieces like this. And I'm gonna show you how to do them. So I've got my pieces of card and my matching pieces of designer series paper. And I'm going to start by positioning the card on the side of the box. Now here I have some repositional tape. Um, they call it removable scotch tape. I love this uh, because you can use it to sort of tack things down. So I'm just gonna pop it in the middle here and then I'm gonna place my piece of card and it would normally, we're going to be aiming for it to sort of be centered like that, but we need to get the angle right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it so that I've doubled my margin at the bottom here. And then I'm just going to line it up and that tape's holding it in place. And then I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to mark, gently mark, Ooh, gone off, gently mark the, the angle. When I take this off, you'll be able to see, there's my angle there. And you can use your trimmer or you can just go ahead and use your paper snips all right okay so that is one side and now I'm just going to show you that again so we're going to pop your piece of tape down and we're going to put the place this so that it's sort of centered side to side but it's about double the distance um, from this side here. Then we're gonna flip it over and use my pencil to just draw my, oh, that one went better, line. Gently ease this off like that. And then we're just gonna trim that down so now I when I come to attach it you can see that I've got my margin side top and bottom and the same for this side I'm going to just take my pencil mark off of that one so then we've got our piece of designer series, pieces of designer series paper, and we're gonna kind of do the same thing with this. 
is that we've got our margin and we're going to ease that up so that we've got twice the depth that we would want it. And then I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to trim that down. So you'll be able to refer to the written instructions again for the sizes of these um, for the sizes of these pieces. And then you're going to stick it down like that and you've got your lovely margin. Now I'm going to stick this one down now because this is where you have to make sure that you get a pair and that you don't have both right hand or both left handed panels. So this one is going to go on this side. And now I've got to make sure that this one is going to be a right-handed. So I've got a left-handed one and a right-handed one here. All right, so I must have this bit facing up and my piece of car paper must be like that. Just to double check that it's going to be the right side. So again, I'm gonna smooch that up a little bit to double my margin and then flip it over. You could use the double-sided tape there, or the removable, repositionable tape there, uh, just to hold it in place. You could perhaps use a paper clip. And there is our other side. So let's get that stuck down. pressure and then we pop this on there so as I say those are our decorative panels that give it a bit of extra strength as well as it hides a bit of the mechanics uh, the bit the bits that um, you know the joins in the box like that And then we've got a little bit of decoration. So I've stamped uh, on a piece of card with uh, Memento Black ink uh, using the limited edition. I like this, a one of a kind creation stamp here. That's the one I chose to use and I cut it out with the lasting label punch. This is one of the new punches in the 2022-23 catalog. And then I also cut a couple of flowers using the flowers and leaves punch. And if you look, there's a large and a small one in there. So I, I've cut one in black and one in Mango Melody. Now I'm just gonna cup these. So on the end of your pick your tool, there's a putty end with a little cover. And if you just put on a piece of sponge um, and then push it firmly in the middle, you'll be able to give them a bit of, bit of life um, by cupping them. So I'm just going to pop a glue dot in the middle and then offset, just offset them slightly and then just pop it back to make sure it's firmly attached. And then we've got to have our bit of bling. 
love my bit of bling if you follow me you know i do love to have a bit of sparkle and i'm going to use one of the big ones the big rhinestones like that and then another glue dot on the back now you'll be able to just um, decorate this however you you'd like i've kept it quite simple and i'm just gonna pop this there you can see that when i punch this label out i did keep it quite close to the bottom so i would have some room to um, decorate it a couple of glue dot uh, stamping dimensionals on the back And then you can pop this. I'm going to pop it this side this time. Just attach it, press firmly. And there we are. So we've got our adhesive caddies. There's the full one. I do hope you've enjoyed this, this class. I certainly enjoyed preparing it for you. I look forward to seeing you at another of my classes. Bye-bye for now.